about Bow Wow in this whole picture situation. Okay, so yesterday he posted this picture on Instagram claiming that he was about to get on a jet and fly off somewhere to God knows where. Um, a fan who was on the flight realized that he was lying and posted the real Bow Wow in, in, thir in the 36th row of the airplane. Here's this picture. Okay, fine. So all day yesterday, everybody was going in on him. And rightfully so, for a couple of reasons. Number one, stop lying all the time, Bow Wow. You deserve all the negative publicity you can get. Number two, don't tell a lazy lie. The picture that he posted was a stock picture, okay, that could easily be tracked through Google Images. Okay, that's number two. Number three, he deserved to get dragged twice as hard because it's about the 15th time he been in the media for doing something damn dumb. I mean, the boy is just dumb. I feel like he's just stuck in the 90s. Like, I'm thinking the 90s is his happy place. You know, if things go wrong in his life, what would I have done in the 90s? He's still thinking like he's little Bow Wow. But supposedly, he has grown up. Supposedly. But you're making the same little dumb Bow Wow mistakes. Okay, fine. So I suffered through that yesterday because I just thought, he deserves whatever he gets. You know, child, please. He don't deserve no more attention from anybody. Let alone my ass, because, you know, it's just uh, enough with Bow Wow. When I woke up this damn, damn morning, and then I, here he's at, here his dumb ass is on the radio with Ember. Okay, I could not, I could not take it anymore. Could not take it anymore. So he's on doing this radio interview with Ember, which he proceeds to tell them, listen, guys, you haven't fall for that trick about what was going on yesterday, y'all need to know, this stock picture that I posted was all a part of my master plan. Like, you, it, it will play itself out on my reality show. Like, play, like you know, it's a method to my madness here. Because really, I'm really not a dumbass. I'm a genius, you know, that's like operating behind the scenes. Really, Bow Wow? Really? Do you really expect us to believe that there's a math method to your madness besides being a dumbass? That's the method. You're just a dumbass that got busted. But what really makes me mad is when you get caught doing something stupid. No, no, not doing something stupid. Lying, okay? Uh, alternative facts. No, this ain't even a damn alternative fact. A bold-faced lie. Because the boys has got a track record at this point. It's not alternative facts. It's not lying. You are a habitual liar. Well, when you get caught in another one of your lies, why can't you just leave it alone? Why must you add to the lie? Now you're talking, now you're putting a lie on top of a lie. Like now you want us to believe you did this on purpose. It made me even matter. I, I couldn't, I could not take it. I couldn't take it. But just when I thought enough was enough. Then he starts to bring other people into his lives. He wants us to think that he posted this whack ass lie picture on Instagram because it's a part of his show. The show that hasn't started to air yet. Well, you're just not lying and bringing yourself down. Now you're lying, trying to bring the show down. Like, I hate a person who is going down, but like, I don't want to be the only one going down. I don't want to be by myself. Let me take somebody else. Child, please. But that, now you're just not a habitual liar. You're a selfish habitual liar. Like, please, you got caught in a lie. Be a man standing your lie on your own. Stop trying to bring others with you. Now you're trying to bring down your other cast members because you want us to think, that they're liars too, and they're co-signing this lie. Oh my God, I could not, not like Bow Wow anymore. But just when I thought enough was enough, he has managed to go into the negative zone with me. This boy holds no credibility whatsoever. I'm sure if this would have happened before they already take the show, his ass probably would have been edited out, which would have been okay by me. Now, I haven't even seen the show yet. 
but I think he needed to be edited out just for being a dumb ass. Like Erica Mena, please pat yourself on the back. You got out before it was too late. You got out. Really, Bow Wow, you're a genius? Child, please. Listen, not only are you not a genius, nobody believes a word you say, including Embro. So I was so glad I think Embro gave a great interview because he started, he wasn't letting him out of his life. Then he started going into his past lies. You know, past lies. Because he's a, the boys is just a habitual liar. Do you guys remember when he told everyone that uh, he wasn't black? <laughs> he said that he wasn't black. So Ambro just straight out asked him, still claiming you're not black? So what does a habitual liar do when you're confronted with your lies? They tell another lie. Because they don't go down without a fight. They do not go down without a fight. So he goes, oh, that little I'm not white thing. Let me clear this up for you. It was, wasn't was put out there right. It was under false pretenses. What happened was I was being asked, could my grandmother had been on the bus at Selma? And I was saying, no, she couldn't have been because she's not black. She's Indian. It was sad. It was getting set out. He needed a, 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 four, a 72 hour hold. You know, when you put the people into the mental institution, he needs a 72 hour hold. Like, he really thought this was making sense. Okay? Like, okay, Bow Wow, fine. We misunderstood that your black ass, who's uh, my damn skin complexion, is not fully black. What you meant was. You're, you got you ain't got all black in you because your grandma Indian and so everything you said was taken out of context. He needs to find a happy place again. I mean, he 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 back in this happy place in his head. He back in the '90s and he's just talking little bow wow nonsense, absolutely nonsense. And I thought, okay, I've had it with him. But there was one more thing that he said that just really got under my skin. He compared his fake stock picture habitual line episode yesterday to that of go outside girl like how she blew up by posting by being dumb on fucking on damn instagram this was what he was doing too i can't take him no more i cannot take him anymore child please listen bow up do yourself a favor go to some kind of lying school and work on your craft if you're going to be a liar, you, you, you need to work on it. Because the lies you're doing now are whack, okay? Whack-ass lies. But until you graduate from your habitual lying school, why don't you just try to shut the hell up? It's not that hard. Let me show you how to do it. Just do that and then stay the hell out of the media. If it's not positive, stay out of the media. Stop lying. Lying is what get you into all this trouble, child. Please, I can't take Bow Wow no more. Just stay out of the happy place in your head. Then stay out the 90s. You are a grown man now. Please act like it. Child. And listen, I ain't the only one that feels this way. Check out these other tweets that people that have had enough of Bow Wow's ass. Enough! Okay? Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time. Bye.